So here we are back again with uh, Kerbal Space Program. Jim Pettibone here. Uh, training now we're into intermediate construction. With this tutorial presented by famous rocket scientist Werner von Warn Wernher, Wernher von Kerman himself covers how to design a craft that escape Kerbin's atmosphere and return safely. So let's. Uh, Here we are, intermediate construction. <coughs> Hello again, glad you could come back. To get started, go ahead and enter the VAB and I'll give you another or give you an overview of what's happening today. Okay. VAB. Ah here we are again. Now to business. If you remember, in our last construction tutorial, we covered how to build a simple hopper and some of the basics of the construction area. In this tutorial, we'll expand your knowledge of some more of the useful features of the VAB, and we'll build a more complex craft that will be able to get us out of the atmosphere. Okay. All right. <clears throat> to build our new design, let's start with a craft we we built in the basic construction hopper. This will save us a little bit of time and according to the accounting department is always happy when we say like click on open. Uh, open. What? Wait, what? Load the hopper. Upload. All right. Then remove the RS flea motor. Okay. What do you want to do with it? I guess we'll just put it over there. There. Gone. Happy? If you mess up, you can re recreate the craft from the part by placing the pod first, and then parachute on top of it. Delete the craft. Okay. We'll come back. All right, now, tweaking the chute. Unlike last time, we won't be bringing the whole vessel back so we can change our parachute stats from what we used before. Right click on the parachute. Okay. And verify its deployment altitude is set to 1,000. Yeah. But also set the minimum pressure slider all the way to 0.75. Okay, atmospheres. That corresponds with an altitude curve at about two kilometers, and means a much shorter time hanging around during descent. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. First off, let's change the name of our craft. Uh, description you want? So, however, if you want, I do what? print is so tiny, even with my new glasses. First off, let's change the name of the craft and description if you want, so that we will have, so that we will, so that we will have, still have our trash can special for later on. Something to hopper, okay, let's uh, change it to the bouncer. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Great. For this craft, we're going to get, we're going to give the ship some additional purpose by launching a science experiment. We can run these experiments during our travels and get valuable science data for Kerbal, 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 Kerbal kind. A number of science experiments to be performed, but the moment we have only the mystery goo. Switch to the science tab, look at it. Basic science experiments, Kerbal, scientists have devised. And one of the first things they want to try to understand better. I mean, don't even know what color the goo is. All right, science. 
utility, science. Okay. Next. Using symmetry. <coughs> when you pick up the part, you'll see that it's designed to attach to, all, to the sides of other parts, i.e. radially. If we attach only one of these during the flight, our craft will be unbalanced. Okay. One way to solve this is to add extra goo container to the opposite side of the rocket so they balance. Luckily we have symmetry tool to help here. These buttons control symmetry. These buttons down there. There. Um, oh, okay. These buttons, which are those. Uh, control highlight at an angle snap can be found in the lower left of the screen. Press the symmetry button or press X key to cycle through the available symmetry modes. Set this to 2X. Add 2X. Um, possibly. And then pick up. Right. 2, 3, 4, uh, 6. Alright, and place the mystery goo container on the ship. Let's put it uh, uh, there. The second one, place opposite by first. Now we get a little place and a little okay, as we pick it up. So we're drinking. Da, 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 da. Oh, near the nose. Okay. Here the nose. Okay, there. Hmm. Decoupling parts. If we add too many, if we add too many more parts here, the craft will make it too heavy to survive re-entry safely, and too heavy to be slowed by parachute, leading to sudden impact syndrome. Huh? Bouncer. So we'll need to add a decoupler below the pod. Decouplers can be found in the coupling tab. Let's we'll split the craft. We'll no longer need the lower parts. And we'll be able to recover the discarded parts. But at least our craft and our Kerbal will survive re-entry and landing. Decouplers can be found, or can be used in many ways. But for now, let's just add one of these to the bottom of the pod. Go to coupling, pick TD-12. Shows, oh, oh, I guess you can rotate it. Oh, okay. Put that on there. Stack the couplers of arrows. The arrows show which side side decouples. Make sure your decoupler your arrow is pointing up towards the pod. It will be by default. Revisiting the staging stack. Well done. You recall, I hope, that in the previous tutorial we had to adjust the staging stack when we added the engine to our earlier rocket. We added a coupler, there's an extra stage automatically added to the stack. Uh, so anything new, any new parts below the coupler won't be staged at the same time as those above it. Still move stuff around, yeah, reset button, fine, go. <coughs> this time we're gonna use liquid propellant rocket engine. Unlike socket where the solid <coughs> Okay, unlike solid rocket motors, these engines don't carry their own propellants with them. So we need to add some fuel tanks. Go to the fuel tanks tab. Fuel tanks. Okay. A little drop there must be a fuel tank. Still using these early parts, so they're only FTL 100s, okay, or FL, what? FLT 100s, 
need five of these. Duplicate that folding left alt. Oh, well, okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Left alt. Now what? You can duplicate that by holding left alt key and clicking on the tank. Ah. switch over to the engines tab now. Engines. Well, we only got one. The swivel engines here is obviously different from the flea we used before. This is a liquid engine. This is a liquid engine. It needs and burns both liquid fuel and oxidizer. Funny enough, that's why that's why we just added the rocket. Attach the L or LPT-45 and stab it on there. the staging and see how it changes. Got that, 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 okay. We're almost there. You're doing fine. Maybe not as speedily as someone with my caliber though. Last thing we're going to need uh, to give the rocket a little better safe. Uh, last thing we're going to need to do to give the rocket a little more stability so it keeps going the way we want it to go. We achieve this by adding some fins. So fins can be found on the aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. Let's make the symmetry. Four. No, four. Okay. Drop basic fin on the last storage tank. Okay, there. Ready to rock. Excellent. We just now, we, we've now got a rocket that will let us reach for the stars. Admittedly, I say reach for, as this is a basic rocket which can achieve orbit. But on the bright side, that means re entry will also be basic. Done. Ah, you've done a great job in building a basic hopper and a suborbital capable rocket. Hopefully you learned a few things about how to build a craft and how to use some of the shortcuts that are in here. Feel free to hang around, hang around a bit and try your hand at other things too, or perhaps you could look at the next lesson on suborbital flight, where you will see just how well this rocket performs. Or head over to the science tutorial to learn how to advance your career and unlock more parts. If you could show show yourself out of the construction facility with a red button on the top right, uh, you're done. No, blah 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 blah. Okay, there it is. There, that, that, that. Oh, this is all. That fires, and that separates, and then that comes back. Oh. 
Okay. Done. Well, there we are. Oh, and then it shows you everything. It's All kinds of stuff that we can well, blow up. <coughs> so there you have it. Here, let's go back. Get him up there. What are you guys doing? Okay, that, that, that. Bye. Everything's great. There we go. That looks like a good shot. So anyway, hope you're enjoying this. If you are, remember, hit the like button. Uh, feedback, comments, suggestions. Greatly appreciated. And uh, <laughs> I do hope you're enjoying this. Subscribe? Why not? Maybe I'll, maybe you should see something blow up. Uh, and again, I hope you're enjoying this. I thank you for watching, and that's going to be the end of this uh, video tutorial.